Well, if you happen to be an iPhone 7 owner, there is some really big news that's about to be coming out for your specific device. Now, iOS 16 is probably going to be, from what we're understanding, the next iteration of software that Apple is going to be bringing out, but it's looking like the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus are going to be the lowest supported iPhones in this specific case. Now, what does this mean? Well, essentially, if you have an iPhone 7 or iPhone 7 Plus, you will actually be able to go ahead and pretty much update to this specific software software, like how you were able to update to iOS 15, 14, and 13, but the crazy thing is this is the lowest supported iPhone on this tier. So what this means essentially is if you own an iPhone 7, you are going to be, I guess, the oldest supported iPhone in this case, which I don't think is a bad thing, but do keep in mind there are other iPhones out there that you should probably go and upgrade to sooner than later, but the iPhone 7 is about to get some huge changes. Now, from my understanding, most of the features that iOS 16 is going to be bringing is going to be supported supported on all of the iPhones. Now, I have a feeling if Apple were to bring a crazy big feature, such as, you know, split screen multitasking or anything like that, that may be suited for the newer end models, they would probably do something where you need to have like a over six inch panel or something like that, I don't know, in order to split screen multitask. So if something like that were to come out, I don't think it would come out for the iPhone 7 or 7 Plus. Again, I could be totally wrong, but that's the first thing. But realistically, all of the other features that will be included with iOS 16 should be included with this, you know, iPhone 7 as well. So what I'm trying to say is that if you own an iPhone 7, feel free to keep it. If you own an iPhone older than the 7, I would recommend going at least to the iPhone 7. That way you can go ahead and actually, you know, have an iPhone that's supported. And you can also get all those cool features that are going to be added within iOS 16. Realistically speaking, because iOS 15 was such a small update, it really didn't bring too many of anything. iOS 14 was a bigger update. I think iOS 13 may have been a bigger update as well. Because of this, I think iOS 16, even though it's been rumored that it's not going to be a big redesign or anything like that, that doesn't mean there can't be a lot of features built into this specific application or you know specific apps within iPhones in general. So I do think if you're somebody who owns an iPhone 7, get ready for for some really, really big changes coming out for your iPhone. And if you own an iPhone 7 Plus, there are going to be probably even more changes possibly. I feel like Apple is going to start doing something with different models of these devices for the Plus models and for the Pro models. So I could see Apple going through and possibly making like, oh, if you own an iPhone 11 Pro or Pro Max or whatever, you'll get you know these certain features. If you own a smaller iPhone, you'll get these certain features. But regardless, the iPhone 7 and 7 Pluses are going to be getting some features within iOS 16, or at least most of them, and I'm extremely excited for it. So that kind of covers it. If you have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.